uh, here is the designer and architect of CARP-4. CARP-4 is the fourth in a series of what we call fish attractors. This is actually an essential piece of lake restoration. It is the equivalent of an artificial reef, but very little uh, poppers. The official launch of, of CARP-4. All right. Yeah, baby. So we wanted to give everybody a look at our artificial reef fish hatcheries. This is CARP-1. This one we purchased was not made by us. Uh, there are a few fish, but overall I think a, a little bit disappointing. Now this is CARP-2. Look at the fish there. This is multi-level. This is like a housing project for fish. There are tons of fish just everywhere. Every pipe you look are surrounded by these fish. So we're extremely pleased with carp two. Moving on to carp three, check out that gar out there. So you know where there's gar, there's gonna be, yeah, tons of little fish. Look at them, thousands and thousands of little fish. This is about a three to four foot high artificial reef we made out of concrete strips. And it has done, as you can see, incredibly well. Fish everywhere and of different sizes. Uh, as we look, there's one that's a little bit larger, but as we, there goes one. And then we look up here to the left, I think, uh, we're gonna see some even bigger fish that tend to surround the periphery and feed on the little fish. And then of course, there's the invasive species, which are very scary. Oh, it's a Madigan. This is an invasive species from Cleveland, I believe. And finally, carp four, no fish around it yet, but it's just waiting for those fish to move in, free housing during COVID-19 for fish. So, and then Sean and Jay finished up with locating Turtle Island. Turtle Island had sank and they have taken the time to pull it out and we're gonna refurbish it and get it ready for the turtles, especially since Notch is back.